Yeah, so what a big difference from last year when we already had big time wildfires uh, going and now we're talking about flash flooding because of those uh, burn scarred areas from last year's wildfires. But also on the final day of spring, it's a pretty good rainstorm moving through. Some light rain out around the Helena area right now, 55 degrees, some strong wind gusting up to about uh, 30 miles per hour. And you could see the visibility reduced by some solid rain coming down in Great Falls. Summer's tomorrow, and we've got a current temperature of 49 right now with wind out of the west gusting almost up 40 miles per hour. Feels like 42 degrees. I was just looking at the uh, Montana Department of Transportation camera in Monarch, and it almost looks like we have some wet snowflakes coming down there, but a little warmer where we had more sunshine in eastern Montana. That's a fuel for some thunderstorms that have developed there, and where we've got some more solid rain and cloud cover. Temperatures in the 40s and the 50s, 30s into the mountains. A lot of activity. You can see the spiral or the circulation of low pressure that's moving right across the state. Burn scarred areas. Mentioned the uh, flash flood watch because of the Woods Creek fire, the Deep Creek fire, but remember the Divide Mountain complex and the Harris Mountain uh, fire from last summer. Well, any of those uh, burn scarred areas as we go through the rest of spring and summer, something to watch out for if you're going to be around them. But Helena, some light rain off towards the north around Great Falls. Some of that heavier rain that's been uh, pounding the Rocky Mountain front is now moving back into Cascade County. Boy, what a rain for places like Fort Shaw and Augusta and Fairfield, Dutton, some very heavy rain coming down. Cup Bank, the wettest day since 2013. Most precipitation coming through. Uh, in about uh, nine years here. A couple of thunderstorms developing out north central and northeast Montana. Boy, if you're looking to the east from Glasgow, probably seeing a big black cloud out that way in south central Montana. Not so much, fortunately, going on around the Beartooths and the Absorcas with this low pressure. Some good monsoon moisture with rain falling on top of wildfires in the desert southwest. Got to show some positive news here, but look at some of this heavy rain continuing through Liberty and Toole counties, Cascade County, uh, Eastern Ponderay, Teton counties, oh, the entire counties here, uh, looking at that rain coming through over the next several hours. But by sunrise tomorrow, watch how that rain really just diminishes. By the way, summer solstice officially begins at 314 tomorrow morning, if you're counting. If you wake up, maybe you'll feel it. Uh, there you can see an isolated shower thunderstorm coming through tomorrow afternoon, but most of the state should be gorgeous with that storm moving out in time for the start of summer. And then the second day of summer uh, here looking very nice for Wednesday. Tonight, still some solid rain for another few hours. Places like Conrad and Great Falls, Fort Benton, careful on the roadways here. A couple of thunderstorms far out northeast Montana. Some snow into the little belts and the big belts and a little snow up on the Continental Divide as well here for tonight. But tomorrow, first day of summer, what a great day. Mostly sunny skies, west wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures warmer with the sunshine up into mainly the 70s. 70s and 80s here. For Wednesday, we deserve a little warm, drier stretch. Thursday, a couple of isolated thunderstorms. Sharp cold front coming through the state here Thursday night into Friday. Friday highs back down in the 50s and the 60s to near 70 degrees. A couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Some of you may have to watch out for a frost and or freeze on Friday night. Helena should get down to 39. The valley could be a little colder. Great Falls, beautiful start to summer. Friday night, though, we're down to 34.